Hi, I'm Yomi Tijani. Welcome to my talk show. Today's topic is going to be about domestic abuse. Um, first, we're going to try and understand what it means to be domestically abused and um, how you can spot it because a lot of people probably think, you know, it has to be physical or something that, you know, has to be extremely drastic before you can seek for help or before you can spot it. But not necessarily because um, domestic abuse covers different range, like um, different areas, sorry, um, like, um, you know, financial abuse, um, cohesive controlling, um, you know, mental abuse and, you know, the emotional aspects of it. Well, the emotional side of it is the hardest and that is what we really want to talk about, which I think that is what people um, find hard to spot, especially the authorities as well. They are struggling with the fact that they can't really tell when someone is being emotionally abused, um, which, you know, partly part of my experience as well in the past. Um, also, there's something going around on Instagram, you know, especially uh, mostly around uh, surviving R. Kelly. I feel like a lot of that surviving R. Kelly, I mean, if you listen to some of the videos that have been uploaded it said that he's experienced stuff in his in his past and that's probably what's affected him to do what he did now domestic abuse in terms of the emotional aspects as well sometimes it covers all of that now people cannot spot it but when people do experience certain things in life it does affect them but what makes it really, uh, what makes one person different to the other is then discipline. Um, but now let's talk about how we can actually help the authorities to make this easier or help them to spot things. So, for example, if you're experiencing things that um, are really, you know, changing your behavior and um, the abuser is constantly in your face and you can, and that person is doing the same thing constantly, keep a record of what they're doing keep a record and write it down and you know discuss this you have to feel free within yourself to discuss some of those issues that's what I think but at the same time this is not just about my opinion it's your opinion as well so I really want to know you know what you think about domestic abuse how do you think people can spot it easily especially the emotional aspect before it gets to the physical aspect or where it gets really drastic a lot of people go through stuff in the background without being open about what they're going through. Um, what's helped me to feel comfortable about talking about my issues are basically just, um, you know, thinking it's, it's, it's fine to talk about all of these things. It's, it's fine. It's OK to reach out to people and say, look, I'm going through this. You know, can I know about your experience? How have you managed that? You know, and I understand that people might feel kind of closed up in their own areas to kind of hold back because you don't know about you don't know what people will say like you know what your friends your family what what are they going to say how what do you look like you know you, you might be disrespected you might you know all of that will run through your mental health and your you know it will run through your system but as long as you can break through away from that then the help that you need will be easy to get to you. Um, which is, I mean, with my experience, it was very difficult, I would say, you know, um, especially trying to get the authorities to notice some of the things, the things that I went through. Um, so, you know, it was me constantly, again, getting on the phone with them, you know, recording the things that I went through telling them about it a lot of the time they, 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 they've said you know um uh, it doesn't really make sense but all even though it doesn't make sense keep a record of it because that's that helped me uh, win my case at the end of the day so you know that's my experience again i would like to know your experience and what you've been through um or some of your views about domestic abuse and how to manage it better, how to help people out there that are going through it. Thank you very much for listening to this show. See you next.